Hi everyone, today I have prepared a top 10 for you, which will consist of only the most predatory fish that are found in aquariums. Usually, these carnivorous species are characterized by their large size and well-developed intelligence needed to catch prey in home aquariums. Most of them switch to feeding special dry food with a high content of animal proteins, but the natural habits and interesting behaviors are retained here as well. So it will be interesting, watch the video to the end, but first please subscribe to the channel, I will be very grateful. And so, our top pick is the arowana. The arowana fish, is the unrivaled giant of the aquarium. It is considered one of the most desirable fish among aquarists due to its impressive size, aristocratic appearance and unique behavior. The arowana has a powerful build that gives it a majestic appearance. It is usually silver gray in color with black markings and is one of the largest freshwater fish. Its unrivaled grace emphasizes its importance in the aquarium. This fish requires a spacious aquarium and clean water to thrive. It is important to give it plenty of room to swim as it can grow to an impressive size. Although the arowana is a predatory fish, adult specimens often coexist peacefully with other non-aggressive, large-sized fish. Keeping arowana requires special attention, as it is prone to aggressive behavior, especially towards smaller fish or active fish that may frighten it. You should also consider its potential tendency to escape from the aquarium, as the arowana can easily kick the lid off and jump out of the tank. The arowana's diet consists of live, frozen, and dried food. She feeds on small fish, large insects, and other foods that reflect her predatory lifestyle. Given its unique requirements and potential aggressiveness, aquarium owners should carefully study the characteristics of this fish and provide the necessary conditions for keeping it. The arowana is indeed a magnificent and imposing creature, but keeping it requires special attention and knowledge to ensure its comfort and safety in the aquarium. The astronotus fish, is a unique and beautiful fish, very popular among aquarists. Astronotus fish is indeed predatory and has territorial tendencies, but its aggressive behavior can be mitigated by proper housing conditions and socialization. Astronotus have a majestic appearance and distinctive colors ranging from golden and orange hues to dark and silvery stripes. These beautiful fish have large and beautifully rounded fins, which gives them a distinctive charm. In length, they usually grow to 25 centimeters or even more. To successfully keep Astronotus requires a spacious aquarium with places for hiding and hiding places. Suitable soil, sufficient high-quality filtration and regular water changes also play an important role in their care. Astronotus can be aggressive during breeding and territory defense periods, especially towards other fish in the tank. However, socialization and suitable aquarium setup that provides hiding places and shared territories can help mitigate their behavior still the number and calmness of the aquarium's inhabitants also plays an important role in minimizing conflicts astronotus are predators and feed on live frozen and dried foods the diet may include large predatory insects small fish artificial cichlid foods and other food items that meet their dietary needs. Species characteristics of Astronotus oblige aquarists to provide them with the right conditions, a spacious aquarium with a variety of hiding places and socialization with other fish. This approach will help to create favorable conditions and mitigate aggressive behavior of this wonderful fish. Tetradon an unusual group of aquarium fish, most of which prefer brackish water. In case of danger, Tetradons may puff up, increasing their size in hopes of scaring off a potential enemy. The appearance of Tetradons is rather unfamiliar. Their body is egg-shaped with a disproportionately small head and large eyes. The pelvic fins are absent, and the tail is very small. The greenish-yellow body is studded with many rounded black spots. The mouth of Tetradons is constantly open in a smile. Even their eyes move independently of each other. In the mouth of Tetradons is four bony plates that resemble teeth. Fish need to periodically sharpen them, so they feed on the shells of gastropod mollusks. Therefore, before purchasing tetradons, it is important to make sure that there are small snails in the aquarium. Polypterus, or polypterus are the closest relatives of the Kalamahite. The fish got their name for the presence of a large number of spines of the dorsal fin. The body of polypterus eel shaped, up to 40 centimeters long. There are species with a very beautiful color. So polypterus can often be found in aquarists, lovers of unusual fish. 
Among the features of the polypair can be distinguished by the use of the swim bladder as an additional respiratory organ. It helps to use atmospheric air in cases of searching for fuller water bodies. The diet of polypterus in nature includes worms, insects, small fish. Therefore, it can be combined exclusively with medium and large fish species. Snakeheads are amazing and colorful fish that attract the attention of aquarists with their unusual appearance and interesting behavior. These fish got their name due to the elongated shape of the head, which resembles the head of a snake. They have an elongated body and colorful coloration, which can vary from orange to blue or green, depending on the subspecies. A distinctive feature of snakeheads is also their ability to change color depending on mood, lighting, and other environmental factors. As for the content of snakeheads in the aquarium, they are quite aggressive and territorial fish. Therefore, it is important to give them enough space and shelters in the aquarium to prevent conflicts with other fish. It is also worth remembering that not all species of snakeheads are compatible with each other, so it is necessary to carefully select neighbors for them in the aquarium. The diet of snakeheads includes a variety of foods including live, frozen and dry food. They may also need to add vegetation to their diet. The Indian knifefish has a unique body shape, which is the basis for its name. The back of this fish is humped, and the anal and caudal fins are fused, creating a visual resemblance to a knife blade. This is an imposing creature, and for the comfortable maintenance of a pair of adults will require an aquarium of at least 300 liters. In their homeland, located in India, these fish are targeted by local fishermen. This fish has a small mouth which is able to open wide to capture large prey. The main prey for them are small fish and various invertebrates. Indian knife is quite loyal to fish of similar size, so compatibility issues usually do not arise, although the main thing is that neighbors do not become inhabitants of his mouth. Kalamoic, a representative of a very ancient branch of fish, so it can be called a living fossil without hesitation. The Latin name of the genus translates as snakefish, which fully corresponds to the appearance of the calamite. Its calling card, a long rounded body with a flattened triangular head and poorly developed fins. The body is covered with diamond shaped ganoid scales, which only increases the resemblance to a reptile. Leads a predominantly nocturnal lifestyle, most of the time prefers to hide in shelters and thickets of living plants. But such a fearful character should not confuse. Kalamoicti, a real predator that feeds on fish, worms and insects, so the content with small species of fish is excluded. But with other species, not able to fit in the mouth, cohabitation is very possible. However, make sure that more active fish do not take away food from the timid Kalamoict. The bagfish, widely distributed in Southeast Asia, belongs to the category of fish with which it is better to be careful. The dorsal and pectoral fins of this fish have spines with venom glands at their bases. Careless handling of Mashkosh Aberni catfish can lead to a painful bite, which, although not fatal, but painful enough. This is why this fish is often called stinging catfish. The name of this fish indicates the presence of additional respiratory organs, paired bags stretched along its body. Combined with copious mucus production, they allow the sackgill catfish to survive several hours out of the water. Meshkosh Aberni catfish is an unpretentious inhabitant of the aquarium, but do not place it together with small species, which the catfish can use as food. This fish prefers a predominantly nocturnal lifestyle. Pangosius To get Pangosius as pets, you will need an aquarium of at least 400 liters, and ideally 1000 liters. These large catfish can grow up to 70 centimeters. Their main feature, above all, this applies to high-floating Pangosius, an amazing external resemblance to sharks. The shape of the body, large two-lobed tail, elongated dorsal fin triangular shape and, of course, flat large mouth. Pangosius have a predatory lifestyle, so do not think about hooking them up with small fish. Along with this, Pangosius has a weak nervous system. Even minor manipulations in the aquarium, loud noises or sudden movements can lead to the fact that the fish will begin to throw chaotically from corner to corner, crashing into the glass and decorations. The red-bellied piranha has an undeserved fame of the most bloodthirsty fish on earth. However, this fact is greatly exaggerated. That piranhas are predators is absolutely true. They hunt in packs on schools of small fish but very rarely attack species that are larger than them. Only injured animals that have entered the water can attract their attention. Attacks on humans are also known, 
but no fatalities have yet been recorded. Under normal conditions, piranhas are quite fearful fish, they prefer to run away rather than attack. This is especially noticeable when these fish are kept in aquariums. The minimum recommended volume for the residence of a group of five fish should be at least 300 liters. The ideal option for piranhas will be a species aquarium. Now if you decide to get a real predators in your aquarium, you will have someone to choose from. If you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and put a like. Bye, everyone.